Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Kernel Power Event ID 41 Task Category 63 Error Message you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So it could be a variety of issues, but typically it's caused by a faulty power supply. So if there is a hardware-related issue, I recommend looking into that. You might want to actually replace your power supply unit in your desktop computer, which is probably where you're coming across this problem. So in a laptop, it would be the AC adapter, perhaps, because a laptop doesn't actually have a power supply built inside of the case. So you might have an AC adapter issue, but if you're on a desktop computer, it could be a power supply issue with the actual hardware inside your computer, you might want to look into getting that replaced. However, if there is something we can try just, you know, hopefully to resolve it if there's a software-related issue, but generally speaking, this is a hardware-related issue and there's faulty hardware, you probably have to replace it. So that's just something you'd have to take a look into for your specific make and model of computer. But that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. But it doesn't mean there isn't some troubleshooting options we cannot explore in this tutorial today. So something we could try here would be opening up the search menu, type in control panel, best match, should come back with control panel, go ahead and open that up, sort your view by by large icons, and then select power options from this list. Select where it says choose what the power button does on the left panel here. If you see an option that says turn on fast startup underneath shutdown settings, I recommend turning that off, so unchecking that option. And if you don't see it, you may have to change settings that are currently unavailable. Again, if you see that option in there, you want to uncheck that. And if you go back to our other power settings here, and you select change plan settings, you may want to turn off the display as well as putting the computer to sleep in a more reasonable time period. If for some reason you may have set both of them to never, you might want to put the computer to sleep after 5 or 10 minutes perhaps of inactivity, or at least turn off the display after that amount of time. So that's something you can take a look into. Something else we can try here as well, if you close out of there and open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point your issue should have been resolved. Now again, assuming it's a hardware related issue, this tutorial is not going to solve the problem. It might delay it a little bit, it might get you a little bit more life out of your device, but you probably want to look into changing the power supply, and if that isn't economically feasible, you might want to consider replacing your computer. So pretty straightforward process guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.